show and in this week's episode we're going to talk about a four letter word that a lot of artists just don't want to hear but you cannot build a successful art career without this four letter word and it starts with w it ends in k and of course the word is work so in the last week's episode i talked about some of the elements that you need in a system and a strategy for becoming a successful uh, artist who sells their work on a regular basis. And I talked about things like having an email database and, and uh, social media presence where you're uploading every day, um, a website that you build and you keep up to date. And I talked about having a marketplace like eBay. And uh, I've got a few comments from people saying, well, that all sounds like a lot of work. And, and it is, right? I'm not gonna beat around the bush with you. If you want to become a full-time working artist, it is a lot of work. Yeah, so just to put that in perspective, I probably work you know, 50 to 60 hours a week on my art business. Now, it's a business, it's not a job, right? So you don't turn up and somebody hands you a paycheck, you have to create income. Um, so it's a business, right? You have to create a product that's saleable and you have to sell it, market it, promote it, and get it out in the marketplace and have somebody wanna buy it. And so you need to be able to persuade and influence. So all of that takes work and effort. There's no free ride uh, to becoming a successful working artist. I don't know of any artists who are lazy. Um, well, I know lots of artists who are lazy. What am I talking about? I don't know of any successful artists who sell their work and make a you know, significant income who are lazy, right? And, and especially self-representing artists. It just doesn't happen. So if you want to be a artist and make your full-time career out of it, or even a part-time career, it's work. There's a lot of work to be done. And uh, probably 60% of that work is the business side of it, and you know, 30 to 40% is producing the artwork. A lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of artists don't want to buy into that, right? But if you want to be self-representing, and I think being a self-representing artist is the best way to move forward because you have total control over your career. Now, that doesn't mean I won't work with galleries and things like that. Of course I will, but I won't be exclusive to any one gallery and I won't rely on a gallery selling my work because we have the greatest opportunity in the history of the world right now to be able to reach out into the world through video and social media and you know, everything good about the internet and, um, and build a, a worldwide collector base for our work, which will sustain us for years to come as successful working artists. But none of that happens without work. You have to have a solid work ethic. You can't procrastinate. You can't wait for inspiration to strike and the muse to, you know, to, to stir you into action. None of that has any place in being a full-time working artist. It really doesn't. I mean, it is work. You get up every day and you grind away and you do the things that have to happen on a daily basis and a weekly basis and a monthly basis in order for you to be successful. And success doesn't come overnight, right? I'll, I'll give you an example of my YouTube channel for my Learn to Paint Academy. And, um, and I think this applies to every thing we do as artists in, in order to become successful. So I've had a YouTube channel now for five or six years, right? And uh, I've, I'm up to about 13 and a half thousand, maybe 14,000 subscribers by the time you see this. And for the first five years, it was like this. It was flatline. It was growing a little bit, right? But not much. And it's just been the last couple of years that it started to grow like that. But if I hadn't done those five years of just working at it, you know, and there were times during that five years where I didn't do much and there were other times where I did a lot. But over five years, if I hadn't done the first five years, then that exponential growth um, that has come in the last year and a half wouldn't have happened because you need to go through that period, that gestation period, right? That period, there's a lot of work. And it's still a lot of work while it's going like that, but you're now starting to see some of the rewards. Um, that's what's happened in my YouTube channel. That's what happened in my art career, my, my teaching art career, and, and my selling of my art. It's all gone like that, right? So lots of years of hard work and, and 
effort and grinding away and just doing the things and getting frustrated because it doesn't seem to be working, right? And just keeping at it and at it and at it and never giving up, right? Focus on a goal um, and just continuing to work at it, okay? Continuing to work at it. And eventually it starts to take momentum and, and starts to take on. Enough people know about you and your art, but it, during that period, it's, it's a lot of work, right? So you have to accept the fact that it's work and you have to embrace the work. There is no easy way. So if you come watching these videos looking for an easy way, I don't think there is one. And if you find an easy way to become a successful overnight success as an artist, right, let me know. I want to know. <laughs> I haven't found one. Um, so I just continue to work at it every day. So I work, you know, 50 or 60 hours a week, every week. I hardly ever have a holiday. And um, the good thing is I love painting, right? And I love talking about art and promoting my art. So, um, you know, it's work, but hey, I'm not working in a factory, right? Or in a retail outlet or hospitality or whatever. Uh, it's work that I enjoy. I love, I love painting and helping people learn to paint and you know, talking to collectors about my artwork. And so, uh, what other thing would I be doing with my life, right? So it is work, but if you really are a true artist and you really love painting and or, or whatever your art is producing your artwork i talk about painting because obviously i'm a painter but if you're making jewelry or pottery or sculpt whatever you know just substitute your art for whenever i say the word painting but if you really love it then you know it's not really work but it takes a lot of consistent effort you can't slack off you can't hang out at coffee shops and talk about art with all your arty friends because nothing gets done right it's the doing that's important. It's the daily doing of artwork and the daily doing of the marketing, sales, promotion business, right? And doing that day in, day out, day in, day out, even when you don't feel like doing it. And it's in those times when you don't feel like doing them is when it's most important for you to do it. Because if you can push through those times where you're procrastinating and you don't feel like it and nothing seems to work and you're frustrated and you get down and you get flat, right? If you can push through those times and continue to do it despite how you feel, you train your brain and something happens where you reach a point where a switch goes on, right? And you just start to get into a momentum and, and you start it, it just starts to flow a lot easier. You get over this sort of hump where it's hard work and now it becomes work, but it becomes enjoyable work. You know, I get up every day and by 6.30 in the morning, I'm ready to go, right? Um, you know, and often I'll work on the computer doing video editing and things and then, you know, get all that out of the way so I can then come into the studio and paint. Um, and so, you know, I look forward to it every day. I bounce out of bed waiting. Well, I don't bounce out of bed. That's not true. I have three coffees, right? And then I'm ready to go. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't wait to get started every day, right? Um, you've got to get to that place. And I think sometimes it's just a matter of pushing through when it seems like hard work, when it seems like you can't get yourself going, when you're procrastinating and nothing seems to be working. If you can continue to push beyond all of that, and that might take a couple of years or it might take three months, right? Who knows? Everyone's different. But if you can continue beyond that and continue working at it and continue trying and, and putting in effort, um, then something magic happens because it's almost like the universe says, hey, this person's serious about this. They've, you know, I've thrown up every obstacle, every challenge, um, and they're still going, they're still trying. So maybe this is what they're meant to be doing, right? And then something shifts in your mind. But here's what a lot of people do. They do a few paintings and they put them up online or they put them into an exhibition and they get a sale and, and, and then they, they, yeah, they get busy, right? It's too much work. They procrastinate. So now they're doing, down to doing one painting a month and I don't know if I should put it up and they have self-doubts and you know, all this sort of uh, negative talk in their mind. And, and so the momentum just stops. Right? You can't stop and start. You can't not do a painting for two months and then restart and then stop for another three. Um, that, that stop start will kill your art career. Right? It, what you're going to do is you're going to start working today. Right? And there is only two things. Remember, we talked about this in the previous video. There's two things. Produce great artwork and continue to work hard at getting better at that. Big pieces and small pieces to put into marketplaces like eBay. Right? Produce great artwork. That's number one. And then number two, promote and market and sell your artwork. Only two things you're going to do each day, right? So right now, where you can start is to start today working. Working on number one, producing artwork. Working on number two, promoting, selling, marketing your artwork. So let's say you've currently got another job. 
because this is me, when I started, I had other jobs, right? I wasn't full-time from the beginning. I, I had five years where I had other jobs and I was in and out of jobs and I couldn't hold a job because I was meant to be an artist, right? So I had to just work through that period. I had another job. So what do you do? I, you go, okay, well, I've got two hours available a day, right? So um, I can do that six days a week, seven days a week, you know, or on Saturdays and Sundays, I can put in five or six hours. So... If I've got, it's a Monday, I've got two hours available, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna spend an hour painting, and I'm gonna spend an hour taking photos and putting them up onto an eBay marketplace so I can start to get people buying my artwork, right? So in an hour, I could produce three of these, right? Three little studies, little sketches, um, you know, learn to paint fast, and then the next hour, I could be uploading them to eBay. So if I did that every day for six days a week, because right, I recommend having one day off, um, work hard the other six. If you did that every day, that'd be 18 pieces of artwork going up onto a marketplace where people go there to buy artwork. So you're going to start building a database. So even if you've got a full-time job right now, you can start building your art business right now, today, in two hours. Right? It's just a question of whether you will do it or not. How strong is your motivation? How badly do you desire to become a working artist? That's the only question. Because a lot of people dream about being an artist, but really when it comes to actually doing it, they don't really want to do it, right? So you, you'll you know if you're the person who is meant to be an artist because you'll embrace the work, you'll love the work, you'll, you'll be excited about the idea of producing artwork and getting it out there into the marketplace. And the work becomes, you know, it's fun. It's what you, you love to do. It becomes your passion, right? But you're going to push through those initial periods of frustration, um, hitting roadblocks, procrastinating, not feeling like it, you know, like even if you get up, if you're a full-time working artist, there's no paycheck coming. So you get up in the morning, you got a migraine. Well, I still work, right? <laughs> but it'd take a train wreck for me to stop because, um, I've got a lot going on, you know, I've got exhibitions coming up and um, I'm in different art groups with shows coming up and I've got online and, you know, there's so much going on. I don't stop, I keep going, I keep working, right? And um, I embrace the work, I love the work. And that's where you've got to get to is that point. So if you watched the video last week where I talked about the different elements of the system, you thought, oh, that sounds like too much work and you're looking for an easy way. I'm sorry, but I don't think there is one. If you find it, let me know. <laughs> I'd love to know what the easy way is. Uh, I haven't found it. But I have found that through working, um, I've built momentum over time. And over time, bit by bit, by bit by bit, collector by collector, um, art student by art student, you know, I've built momentum over time. And it's been a lot of work and effort, but it's absolutely been worth it because I love what I do, right? It is work, but if you learn to embrace the work, you can get yourself into a position where you can be a full-time working artist if that's what you want. Hope that helps. I'll see you next week on the RP Show. Cheers.